bit UFX is kind of uh, a ultra a frag a extreme. Yeah, it's a little bit of a jokey clan from from uh, CZM's making. Yeah. Um, CZM had a list of uh, a list of uh, clan names, hundreds, hundreds really? long, and he decided to select the most lame one that he could possibly select, and that was ultra frag extreme. Oh. So. That one out somehow. The tag is cool at least. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's a cool tag actually. Just don't yeah. ask what it means. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So and CGM, I don't know actually know you know what he's up to at the moment. I asked him if he was going yeah. to QuakeCon. I emailed him. I was like, Yo, are you going to QuakeCon? And, and he's what like, he said, do it online. Oh yeah, he's, no, he's, what did he, he did actually say <laughs> something like that. What was it? It was like, um, um, sure, I'll be at QuakeCon to do it on LAN. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> what you're talking about. But they're getting underway on Kyo. The new map in the pool. Of course, this is the QuakeCon map pool. As QuakeCon is looming, it is very, very soon. I wonder how the Americans play this map. We've seen a, a fair bit, but I don't know how Chaotix and Fiend will play it. I guess everyone will have their own style. So and let's see. Yeah, Fiend uh, not off to the most horrendous of stars. It seems okay so far. He's got himself everything but the LG. Chaotix definitely has the advantage, and having the position there, he's gonna drop down, to try to get that LG. And the Fiend there, going for that LG without having an... Going for the red without having an LG, look oh at the damage. Yeah, yeah, he, he took, took a lot there. Uh, he stuck around for too long. Uh, let's see if he can salvage it though, Mega's coming up. If he's able to deal a lot... I don't know if he wants to go for this. Oh, oh, he's going for it. Oh, no. Chaotix got caught here really, really poorly. Going straight for that LG, that could have been the end of him. I think if Fiend had better positioning on the mid-level, Chaotix is a dead man, I think, but... He's that was good from Finn. I mean, he did a lot of damage, and now he's, he's at the red, but he, makes, he has to make sure he doesn't take that much damage. Good rocket jump going out, but he's taking a lot of damage now. It's okay as long as he gets the L. He's probably not going to get the L, just needs to go away. Oh, rocket jumps up. That was definitely not the best move. He's going to drop dead again. Okay, Alex going to make his way over to the green armor corridor on the top there as he drops to the rail. And he now has himself everything he needs to facilitate a proper offense onto Fiend as Chaotix calls a timeout. It's time for a timeout. We have no idea why. It has not been stipulated by Chaotix just yet, so um, yeah, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. Yep. So far Chaotix has the lead, he says sorry, and uh, he's gonna go back in the game now. And Prepare to fight. I would expect this Three, lead to start two, to snowball a little bit, one, but we'll see if Fiend fight. is able to deal with it. Kelly's going back here. He needs to make sure he's there for... I mean, really, positioning red here is critical. There it is. He's got position on red. The Mega he can leave up because it's, it's pretty... It's, it's quite the commitment. Now he has Fiend, Fiend to go for it. Where is Fiend? Fiend tricked his way around to get to the yellow armor, so he's going to be missing out on everything. Okay, this is perfect from Chaotix. Oh, doesn't mi doesn't need the rail. He misses the shots, but I mean the plays were perfect. He, he went to red, even leaving Mega up, knowing that Fiend could not take that. Cut him off with a long range rail, and then pull back onto Mega. Beautiful. But, got to execute, and F drops down Fiend to try and finish Chaotix. But, was Chaotix good. has no, something to say, and boom. And look, Chaotix looking for the spawns. So, the spawn is just starting to spread. And Fiend goes down again. This looks like a very easy game for Chaotix so far. Fiend without really a solid uh, anything against Chaotix. Oh no, he gets caught again there. Chaotix misses the jump though. Oh, and the great rail by Chaotix. As he yeah. just needs to do a little bit more damage so he'll get the frag and there it is. Now he has a choice. Does he go? Try to go for both items? Well, he probably can because Fiend is nowhere near and he definitely doesn't want to commit and try to get one of them. I don't think he even got the timing of any of them. And here goes Chaotix. Ooh. Great pixel rail there. And Chaotix gonna cycle his way around to the red area. And here he finds Fiend above the Mega. And Fiend, oh, oh wow, God, that was beautiful. Beautiful switch that drops onto the red. So, I mean, he gets a kill just before the red spawns. I mean, it's so ideal because you don't risk anything when you go for that item. Look at him, he doesn't really want to spread to the r yellow armor side of the map. He's just leaving that to Fiend. And Fiend isn't really making the best of what he could be doing. Here comes Chaotix, over to the red again. 
and he's going to try to cut off Fiend. He, he's got a very good read on Fiend's position most of the time, enabling him to really understand how to apply pressure whilst leaving up items. Because of course there's an obligation to be in certain spots on the map so that you can take items. But if you can read the other player and where he's going, then that obligation is a damage. You can see whether it's forfeit or not. And there you go. Fiend goes down again. That's the, that's the worst time to do damage because the Mega is going to be up in 5 seconds and Fiend gets a weapon, he can challenge for it. Is he gonna come? Yeah, he's a rail. Can he eat some more? Nope. Can't Can really eat anymore. Cover. And now on to the red. And this is if unless Fiend can be clutch. Oh, and he is wow. clutch. Actually hitting all the rails, but that 25 pickup mid fight saved Kaldix's life. And we've already gone to an 8 0 scoreline on this one. And Fiend is waiting, he's thinking that Chaotic wants a 50 HP, but Chaotic not going for it, not taking the bait. Ooh. Oh, direct grenade. That hurt so much. Right in the kisser. And that's going to be Fiend running for health, running for armor, running for his life. Just Ooh. running, basically. But actually, he's trying to get an angle onto Kaelix, but Kaelix does not allow it. Well, Fiend's going to go for the aggression there, but he... Oh, great, little rail from Kaelix there, but the, the damage that Fiend did wasn't really worth it. I mean, he exposed himself and risked himself to, to dying, and that's exactly what happened at the hands of Chaotix. So far it's looking very one-sided. Yeah, Perhaps it's up like to Fiend to try to bring this back. Perhaps like uh, almost as if you know Fiend has not got the map knowledge that Chaotix does, almost. Nice rocket though. And problem is though, through the teleporter Chaotix goes and he has the weapons to just efficiently fight there and there's nothing Fiend can do in that spot anymore. So you gotta watch that teleporter exit, and there goes Fiend, he gets the red steel, but Chaotix did the 100 damage, more or less. So it's just a slow increase in frags for Chaotix, really. It's, there's, uh, just, I mean, there's not much more to say than that. He's just steadily running this, and Fiend has yet to kill him. He's coming closer, this is the first time that Fiend's really gotten some serious damage onto Chaotix, got him low, but not able to close it out. He gets him low, but the thing is, I think this all is the same thing after spawn. He doesn't go for super aggressive moves on spawn. He goes, tries to get a little bit of farmer, then tries to get the weapons, then plans an attack. And obviously that attack will be tarnished every time he goes for it, because Chaotic will have so much more stack advantage than he will have the stack advantage in, in all fairness. Yeah. And Finn just has to change gears, he needs to do something, he needs to keep following it up, the attacks. Uh, but now he wasted too many frags, and if he wants to come back in this, he just needs perfect execution. Like right now, he cannot be taking any damage, and he just took way too much damage, he died again. And off the spawn, he's gonna be doing the same thing. He's gonna get that yellow, gonna get weapons again. He needs to change, as I said, he just needs to change the gears. Yeah, as you said, you need to read the map and the opponent to realize, because sometimes going for what seem like suicidal attacks, if you time it right, it's gonna give you more effective frags than, than just doing that kind of standard, oh, back away, off the spawn, get some uh, uh, armors, get some items, then go for an attack. Ju I mean, but if you do that, you're not playing the map, you're not playing your opponent. You're just playing a, a duel against yourself almost. It's like, you have to factor in everything else that's going on and on the map and, and the, stuff that the status of your opponent. So sometimes it's better to just do the evil and get the LG off the spawn and play CTF and just run at your opponent. And find the fastest route to him with one weapon on the way and de deal that damage because before that item it can be crucial and and uh, otherwise you get into very bad spots where you just run into the same stack again and again and again yeah, and that's what die. Fiend has been doing yeah it seems that way Kaelix really handing it to him <laughs> missing a jump pad rail I always think that I think of the thing that CZM said is he says there's, uh, there's no excuse to miss the jump pad rail. There's even my sister could hit a jump pad rail. I think that's what he said. Does he long even have a sister? A long, long time ago. I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that, no excuse, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Or maybe he even said grandmother. I don't know. I really don't know. Or aunt, perhaps? I don't know. Even my cat. I need to jump pad rail. Yeah. Cat's dipping his toes. Fiend not with much luck here on this offensive. I mean, he's doing some damage, but there's a pickup. He's here always comes doing some one. damage, but he just never does enough, and the Chaotix is always, yeah, 
Kane says, you win. He doesn't have an answer for Chaotix play. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, Fiend goes down, Ultrafag Extreme Fiend goes down to Chaotix in that very convincing victory from, uh, from Jared there. So we'll go to a quick break and when we come back we'll have more Americans battling it out for this North American Cup. <laughs> 